Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Visual Tail Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you really easy and step by step how to make this St. Patrick's Day beaded hat earrings. Consider subscribing with the bell if you still haven't, also liking, sharing and commenting. In this way you motivate me to make more and more tutorials for you. Share your beautiful work that you did following my videos on my Facebook or Instagram pages. And you might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member. And the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Without further delay, let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are three colors of 11 OC beads turquoise, golden and brown. Here I'm using earring findings. This is Neil Bond nylon thread. You could use Nymo or other brand that you like. This is size 11 beading needle. You could use size 10 or 12. The smaller sizes are easier to work with. These are scissors and these are pliers that are not obligatory, but I use them if I need to go through the difficult bits. Okay, and now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm starting my work by picking up four turquoise beads and I'm going to slide those down. I'll leave here a small tail. And I'm going backwards like this through two of them. And when I pull, this is what I have. Then I'm going through the other two. Okay. Take two more turquoise beads. Go back like this. And through this again. Again two beads. Go back through the previous two and pull. And backwards through these two. Again, and what I want to have here, guys, is 12 columns of two turquoise beads. Okay, I'll make those 12 and I'll be back. And here I am, guys, where I'm adding my 12th column of two beads. Okay, I'm going to turn this in this direction and I'm going to start with my brick stitch. If you're not familiar, don't worry. Okay, how I do this, I take two beads and I go here. You see these thread bridges between my beads. I go here through the first one of them and pull. Then what I want to do is to go through the bead that is closer to the center of my work. Okay, fix them a little bit. Then I take another turquoise bead and I go under the next thread bridge that is on my way. Then I take another turquoise bead and I go under the next thread bridge that is on my way. Okay, under it. And then through the bead that I'm adding. And another one and again under the next thread bridge that is on my way. Okay, and this is absolutely the same thing I do all the time. I take one, go under the next thread bridge and I will continue this until the end and I'll meet you here at this point. 
Okay, my friends, and I just added here one turquoise bead at the last thread bridge. But what I want to do next is to add one more turquoise bead at the same thread bridge. Because in this row I want to have more beads than in the previous one, okay? And I'm going like this. And I go through the newly added bead here, like I did all the time. And when I pull, I have this, okay? And in my next step, what I want to do is to reinforce a little bit this part here, because I don't like this gap. Okay, I go like this. Then I go like this. And here, what I want to do is to make a knot with my tail thread and my main thread. Okay. I make a knot by making a loop and going twice through the loop I've made and pulling. Okay. And then in order to make those beads stay nice and tight next to each other, I want to go in the following column. And here, if it's difficult for you to do this, is this the time to use your pliers. Okay. Here you see I'm exiting out of the second turquoise bead. And I want to zigzag. I'm going here through the third one. And I'm exiting again here through the fourth one. Okay. Now, my friends, I'm going to start my next row. And for my next row, I need six brown beads. Okay. And as I'm exiting here, I go under the next thread bridge that is on my way and I pull. This is again brick stitch, but you could call it triple brick stitch, because you have columns that consist of three beads next to each other. Single is when you do it with one bead next to each other, double is when you do this with two beads next to each other, and this could be called triple. Okay, then what I do is that I pull like this. Then I will continue three by three, take three golden beads, and I go under the next thread bridge. And I go backwards through these three beads. Then a golden, a brown, and a golden. And I go under the next thread bridge. And through the next three beads. Three goldens. Next thread bridge. And go through these three again. And then two columns of three browns.
Okay, guys, and here I have four turquoise beads. And what I want to do is go through this thread bridge here that I have, the first one. And I pull. Now what I do is double break stitch. But don't worry about the names, just follow my steps, they are not difficult. And then I'm going through the turquoise beads that are closer to the center of my work. Okay. Then again two. And I will continue adding two until I'm out of thread bridges. Okay, and I take four turquoise beads. This time I go under the second thread bridge that is on my way. Then I go through these two turquoise beads. Why I go under the second one? Well, because I will be decreasing my next row will be with less columns than the previous one. And what I want to do is to reinforce those beads and make them stay nice and tight next to each other. Usually when I go under the second thread bridge my beads stretch and they need additional reinforcement. Okay. Now I'm going to add four more columns. <music> Okay, I take two turquoise beads and what I do is that I go under the second thread bridge here because I will be decreasing again and now I'm doing the single brick stitch. Okay, and I go through the bead which is closer to the center of my work. If you are confused, don't worry, just follow the steps and everything will be okay you will understand it in time. Okay. And now one by one add three more beads at each thread bridge. Okay, now I'm starting another row again, taking two and going under the second thread bridge because I'm decreasing again. And if you remember, when I decrease, I'm reinforcing as well. 
because my beads stretch as they go under the second thread bridge instead of the first one and I need to reinforce them Here I will add two more beads and with this I will finish my work. Okay, and now the only thing I need to do is to ask my earring finding here. And then guys, what I want to do is to find the place and to make a knot. Well, probably uh, the span of thread that I take is too much for this work. But you could use the other part to make the next earring. Okay, so here I'm making a loop and I'm going once or twice through the loop I have. I prefer once because otherwise my knot will be too, be too visible. And then you could repeat your knot if you want, zigzag through your beads and now it's time to cut your tail thread. Okay, this one and then this one. And now guys, my St. Patrick's Day beaded hats earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe if you still haven't. Also like this video, share and comment in this way you help me so much. Share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials on my Facebook or Instagram pages. And you might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member. And the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching.